Soyuz Trademark 31 was the first Soyuz spacecraft to dock with the International Space Station ISS. This Soyuz Trademark spacecraft carried the members of Expedition 1, the first long-duration ISS crew. It was launched from Russia at 7.52 UT on October 31, 2000 by a Soyuz U rocket. The crew consisted of Russian cosmonauts Yuri Gidzenko and Sergei Krikalev, and American William Shepard. Gidzenko was commander of the flight up, but once aboard the station, Shepard became commander of the long duration mission Expedition 1. The spacecraft served as the crew's lifeboat while docked to the ISS. The Expedition 1 crew were returned to Earth via a space shuttle during STS 102 in March 2001, and the Soyuz Trademark 31 spacecraft stayed with the station for part of Expedition 2. In April 2001 another spacecraft, Soyuz Trademark 32, arrived at the station, and took over responsibilities as the station's lifeboat. The crew launched by Soyuz Trademark 32, which included the first paying space tourist Dennis Tito, were returned to Earth in May aboard Soyuz Trademark 31. The visiting mission of which Tito was a part is sometimes referred to as ISS EP-1. Topic Crew Topic Docking with ISS Dock to ISS, November 2, 2000, 921 Coordinated Universal Time to aft port of Svezda. Undocked from ISS, February 24, 2001, 10:06 Coordinated Universal Time from aft port of Svezda. Docked to ISS, February 24, 2001, 10:37 Coordinated Universal Time to Nadir port of Zaria. Undocked from ISS, April 18, 2001, 12:40 Coordinated Universal Time from Nadir port of Zaria. Dock to ISS, April 18, 2001, 13:01 Coordinated Universal Time to aft port of Svezda. Undocked from ISS, May 6, 2001, 2:21 Coordinated Universal Time from aft port of Svezda. Topic: Mission highlights. The Soyuz carried a crew of three to dock it with the Svezda module of the International Space Station ISS at about 9.21 UT on November 2. The Progress M1-3 cargo craft that was docked with Svezda was released to make way for the Soyuz. The crew of two Russian and one American spent over three months on the ISS, and returned to Earth in an American shuttle STS in February 2001. In the initial days, the crew brought a variety of life support systems online, and created a laptop computer network that helped run all systems in the ISS. The remaining months were allotted for exercise and space endurance practice. The crew was the group to launch the permanent inhabitation of the ISS. Since their launch, ISS and space are permanently occupied. 